Okay guys, another thing that's very, very important and uh, especially for new people, new, new, uh, new clients, is that uh, you need to know how, how to use your hand, how to punch with your hand. Everybody thinks it's easy. When you put a glove on, your hand is kind of already formed into a fist. It's not really a fist, but because of the glove, you really not make a fist. It's very important to make a fist. Why? Because if your hand is too relaxed and your thumb is upstairs, you're going to hit with your thumb. You're not going to hit really with your fist. There's no power here, there's no power here, so everything is messed up. Try to make a fist good, put the thumb under it, like this, under it. So when you hit the target, when you bring it over, you will really punch with the first two knuckles here. If you punch too high, you're going to hit somebody's forehead, you're going to break it. That's why. Always turn it over and punch a little bit down. You don't need really punch down, but the, the angle of the, of the fist will be like this. This is the fist. And not this. Because then you're going to hit it with your fingers. It's also with the hooks. You throw a hook like this. If you hit it wrong, you will hit it with the thumb. You will break your thumb. Or, you look on the inside of your hand, you hit it with the knuckles like this. Or you turn it over and you hit it with the outside of your knuckles. First, this hook on the inside, and he will hit me like this. He looks on the inside of his hand and the knuckles will be on my chin. If he makes it a little bit longer on the outside, it will still be with his knuckles. And not with the thumb. It's the knuckles that hit the target. So it's very important that you know this is breakable and this is breakable. So make sure that you always, when you have the wrist from carry, make sure that this is already always taped good. Because this put everything together. What you do here between your fingers, it looks very beautiful and it's maybe nice, but it's very important to have this one compact. So this is stable. You, you squeeze in your fist, compact, nothing can happen here. Your hand never breaks on the front of your knuckles. That's really rare. Your hand breaks upstairs here. So when Kerry throws a hand upstairs to my head, the hand will hit me like this and his hand will make this direction and your hand is done. What he needs to do, he needs to turn it over a little bit and not punch to the front of my head, of course. He's going to punch to my chin slowly. And then you can see when he brings his hand over that this is the right direction. Nothing will happen here. This is solid. This is strong. The wrist is strong. Everything is strong. It's one mess. If the elbow is a little bit out like this, there is no power, there is no strength. And everything that's not strong enough here cannot take the impact of the punch. So always make sure, make a good fist, put your thumb under your knuckles. And make sure that these first two knuckles are going to hit the target first. And not just throw a punch. Again, what's good in, in, with some new students is to punch without the gloves. Not really punch, but on the back that they kind of feel what it is to really punch something with your, with your fist. And when you have your glove on, you may need to make sure that you make a fist and that you punch with your knuckles.